Are you guys struggling as much as I am to raise your KDs in COD Modern Warfare 3? Well, don't worry. I found a lot of different things you guys could do in order to bring that KD up, stop dying, get a lot more kills, and just all that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about 10 different things today, 10 different tips I'm going to share with you guys, and you're going to notice you're getting yourselves a lot better, and you're never going to die again. Let's get straight into it. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 video. Today we're going to be looking at ways to raise our KDs to play a lot better and to just stop dying so many times. Now if you guys could drop a like on this video, we're going to go for 2,000 likes. That would be absolutely amazing if we could shred that. Sub to the channel with those notice turn on guys, we're closing in on 700k so I'd love to hit that soon. And let me know down in the comments below what your current KD is in the game. Mine right now is sitting at a 1.45, definitely not the best. I need to get this up and doing my tips, it is going up. When I started the game last night. I was at a 1.20 and I've already gone up by 25. I mean, yeah, you could argue that I don't have too many kills in the game yet, but it is what it is. You guys will be raising your KDs as well. So let's get straight into those tips and all that kind of stuff because you guys are going to like this and it's going to make you overall a better player. This game is so different from the last two CODs that there's just certain things that you guys need to change in your play style in order to play better. Now, you probably will die once in a while. I mean, hey, yo, it's COD. Everyone's going to die and it's probably going to be to a lot of BS, but it is what it is. Let's talk about the first thing. The first one I want to talk about today at the number 10 spot is to raise your sensitivity. This one is in the settings before we get into get to the gameplay tips. Raising your sensitivity. Why am I saying that? I normally tell you guys to put it to whatever sensitivity you're comfortable at, even if it's down below out of two or something like that. I always say play what you're comfortable at. However, in this game, you're going to need a faster sensitivity. And the reason for that is because everybody moves so fast in this game. Everybody dies so fast. Everybody is just everywhere so fast. Everything in this game is so fast that you need to be fast as well and if you're running a slower sensitivity if someone pops up behind you and they start shooting you by the time you even close in on them by the time you turn around you're going to be dead if you have a faster sensitivity you can use movement to your advantage get away from certain gunfights dodge certain bullets all that kind of stuff and still turn on people nicely so definitely raise your sensitivity I normally play on like a 10, 11. I put it to a 12 and 13 in this game, and I already noticed that I'm playing a lot better than I could. Now, before we get into the gameplay tips, I want to go down to number nine, which is still in the settings. So don't leave the settings just yet. And that is to flip your shooting triggers. So if you're playing on PlayStation, for example, and you're using a PlayStation controller and you're using the bottom triggers, L2 and R2, to ADS and to shoot, you want to make sure that you flip those. Put those to L1 and R1. And the reason for that is because it's just milliseconds faster to actually hit those triggers triggers than it is to hit the bottom triggers it just works out a lot quicker and it's gonna be a lot better for you to do that so make sure you guys are doing that you're gonna see you're gonna go off it's gonna be nice and a few milliseconds does help a lot when the health is all the way up at 150 so that's gonna help out a lot as well now before we go down to tip number eight i will also say turn off controller vibration it's gonna feel weird at first but once you stop playing with controller vibration on your accuracy is gonna be so much better because there's no shake on your thumbs on the thumbsticks nothing is shaking everything's solid everything's straight so make sure to turn that off but it will be awkward for one or two days going down to tip number eight finally talking about the gameplay tips i want to say use the right gun for the right map this game is so different the guns in this game behave so differently than modern warfare 2019 and modern warfare 2 it's just you don't want to use an smg at long range not on these maps at least it just doesn't work in this game so make sure that you're using an lmg an ar a tactical rifle anything like that a sniper even on the larger maps anything that's open anything that has a long distance and stuff you want to make sure you're using those type of weapons on the smaller maps and the close quarter maps that's where those smgs are going to shine that's where you're going to want to use those smgs as well so make sure that you're using the right gun for the right map if not the enemy will be and he will be knocking you out let's move down to number seven on this list and that is to stay away from the middle of the map all right guys the way maps used to be made and these are old maps these are maps back from the original modern warfare 2 the way maps used to be made was the middle of the map was the the hot center okay you want to stay away from there because everything leads to there so all the enemies they could be head glitching in windows they could be in doorways they could be lying down behind head glitches they could be literally anywhere looking at the middle of the map you do not want to run through that center and being a sitting duck you're going to get shot at by more than one person it's not going to work out in your favor by the time you even figure out where they are you're already dead so stay away from the middle of the map go to the edges try to flank do all that kind of stuff just don't go to the middle it's not worth it now going down to number six 
this one i cannot stress enough all right guys do not play this game like it's a run and gun call of duty yes everything is faster everything is fast in this game but it is not a run and gun cod it's not a headless chicken cod you do not want to be got caught out in the open the sprint to fire is faster than modern warfare 2 but it's still not the fastest thing alive so a lot of people camp in this game a lot of people just chill and play slowly if you're that one person running around everywhere chances are you will get shot at now, i'm not saying don't move i'm not saying camp and all that kind of stuff definitely run around definitely sprint and go to where you need to go but do it strategically don't just do it like a headless chicken without a goal in mind make sure you guys have a goal and an objective and you're running to where you need to run now i will apologize guys I'm sick at the moment, so if I stop talking for a few seconds here and there, it's because my throat really, really hurts. Let's move on. Let the enemies come to you, by the way, guys, all right? So don't be the guy running and gunning. Let them come to you, and you'll, you'll see yourself getting a lot more kills. Going down to number five, the next tip, guys, do not seek revenge. It's not worth it, all right? And what I mean by this is, let's say somebody kills you, you want to kill him back. I get it. Everybody wants to seek revenge. Everybody wants to kill the guy that killed them. But let's say he kills you and he's camping in a, in a head glitch or something, right? In a building. You try to rush that building on your next life. He knows you're going to be coming for him. So he's sitting in a corner. What's he doing? He's waiting for you to come up those stairs. He pops you again. You're dead. You're even angrier now. You're not thinking. You're just rushing to him. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. He's going to continue killing you. It's not worth it. All right. And then if you only try to go for revenge, you're not looking across the map. If you're running all the way across across the map to get to this guy other people are gonna knock you out for sure so do not seek revenge it's not worth it it's just it, it, it doesn't it, it's never worth it all right let's move down to number four and that is to not overstay your welcome in any certain area now this kind of contradicts what i said about playing don't run and gun and stuff like that but also don't be a sitting duck if you kill four or five people while you're in one building don't stay in that building because chances are a lot of them are going to be seeking revenge and if you killed a lot of people a lot of them know where you are you're sitting up. They're going to get you easily. Get out of there. It's not worth it. Kill a few people, move to another section of the map, kill a few more people, move to another section of the map, and rinse and repeat, and keep doing that, and you'll see that you'll be staying alive a lot longer. You'll be getting a lot more streaks, and speaking of streaks, play for streaks. Put on streaks that you could possibly earn, not streaks that you'll never earn, and you'll see that you'll be playing so much better as well. That's not a tip I wanted to give you guys, but I just thought of it, but that's pretty good. I'm going to put that as a bonus tip, all right? Anyways, let's move down to number three, and this is if you're missing your shots. Let's say you're in a gunfight at longer range you're missing a lot of your shots the enemy's hitting you a lot get away from there it's not worth it all right <laughs> he's gonna win the gunfight nine out of ten times you're missing a lot of your shots your accuracy is just not there at the moment get away you'll you'll end up killing this guy somewhere else on the map just don't try to stay there don't keep shooting especially if your accuracy is off point and he's on point it's just it's not worth it for you you're gonna end up dying and it just it never works out in your favor let's move on to the last two tips here this one is kind of like a three in one at the number two spot, but it's something that's worth saying as well. All right. So use a silencer, definitely use a silencer because now red dots are on the minimap again. So if you shoot an unsilenced weapon, your red dot will be on the minimap. Everybody will see where you are. Make sure to put a silencer on and it gets rid of that red dot. All right. That's important. We haven't seen that in COD in a few years. It's really worth running the silencer. Make sure to do it. Put on the covert boots. Is that the silence boots? I forget the name. It might be. If those are the boots that make you silent, definitely throw those on. I think you need to be level 45 or 50 or something to unlock that. But once you get there, throw those on all the time and never look back. And definitely run ghosts. You want to be invisible off that radar. You don't want to be seen. It is what it is. Anything that could silence you is going to work in your favor. Anything that's going to make you invisible on the radar is going to work in your favor. So definitely go ahead and do that. And the last tip, which I probably, looking back at it, should have given you guys this tip first. But if you made it this far into the video, props to you guys for making it this far. This tip is for you. I've given this one a lot. I've been saying this one for years. But you want to go into a private match against bots, okay? I know I say it all the time. You got to do it, though, all right? Turn those bots on recruits. It doesn't matter if they shoot back or not. Put it up to like 300 kills and just go off. Turn the health to the maximum, put it to headshots only, and turn off your aim assist, all right? that's important this way once it's on headshots only it's all about accuracy all about you being accurate and once you go for like 300 kills like that and then you hop on multiplayer by the way when you hop back on multiplayer turn aim assist back on but once you get back on there you're gonna draw people so fast you're gonna automatically go for the head your accuracy is gonna be on point you just got 300 kills 
with your aim assist turned off and headshots only with max health. So once you go back on multiplayer, it's like easy mode for you. You're going to go off on people, then you're going to see a lot of people ignore this tip. Don't ignore it. It's actually worth it. But if you guys didn't make it this far into the video, I would appreciate if you did like it. We're going to go for 2,000 likes, so that would be awesome. Let me know down in the comments that you made it this far by commenting hashtag full length just to show me that you guys made it this far into the video. And let me know your KDs down in the comments below. Hopefully, you guys come back to this video in a couple of weeks. Check out what your KD was and see what it is then. And you'll see most of you guys will have a raised KD by then. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick. Make sure to watch the next videos as well. We're going to be uploading so much Modern Warfare 3. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.